Hello, this video is going to show you how to design and create a file of double-sided business cards. Um, you know, this tutorial is mainly used for my students in class, but you might find this helpful uh, if you are trying to print double-sided business cards at home. So to begin with, I need to start a file, and the easiest way that I, I have found to do this is to create two different files, design files, one for the front of your card, one for the back of the card. So I can go File, New, and when you have all these defaults, click on Print, and then over here I'm going to change it from points to inches, and the width of your average business card is three and a half inches, and your height is two inches. And obviously you can make custom sizes as well, however you want, but for this demonstration, we're going to do your typical um, style business card. Click Create, and that will give me an artboard that, when actually printed, will look something kind of like that. Okay. Now, obviously I can design it however I want. I've already designed a business card uh, for this coffee company owned by yours truly. That's the front design and then this is my back design. So you can see I have two different files right there. And what I did is when I was all done designing it, I go file, save as, and I want to save it as a PDF. And I've already done that. So it's going to ask me to replace it and I'm okay with that. And then I'll go to the back, do the same thing, file, save as save it as a PDF. I've already done this before, so I'm going to click Save and replace it. And this dialog box here, when it opens, just click Save PDF. And then we have that. Then the next thing is, the uh, I have created a template to use. Okay, This is a template that is going to have a few different layers, and it's going to have some instructions off to the right. So the instructions you can just read it. It says place your front designs on the correct front design layer and make sure they align to the middle guide. The middle guide is right here. Copy and paste numerous copies, then lock that layer and begin placing your back designs on the back design layer. Make sure they align and overlap the front design layer perfectly. This will allow for double-sided printing. Print one side at a time and then flip the paper in the printer to print the other side. So let's go to the front design layer. I'm going to make sure it's unlocked. And I'm going to go File, Place, and find your file that you designed. And there we go, Place. My mouse is freezing a little bit, but you go ahead and you click with your mouse, and that will place it in the correct size. So I know that this is a two, two inches by three and a half inches. If you want to double check it, you can use the ruler at the top, three and a half by two. And I'm going to place that along this top guide and then along that middle guide. Okay. Now if I want to place it properly and easily, I can go up to view, scroll down, and check put a check mark next to Smart Guides. And I can check that when I go to View, check that there. And what this is going to do is when I move my design around now, it will click and snap into place according to that guide. To copy and paste this, there's lots of ways I can copy and paste. I can hit Command C and Command V to paste. Snap that back up there. A sneaky thing to do now is click and drag over both of those. If I hold down the Option key while I'm hovering over those two designs, I'll get a black and white arrow. That will copy and paste both of them at the same time, snap those into place. Another sneaky shortcut is select all four. Click and drag down again, snap them into place. click and drag, snap into place. Okay, 
so that is my whole front design. Another little trick that I have is if you click and drag over all of those, so I've got all four of them selected, and it looks like I'm having some issues with these two. I'm just going to move these down for a sec. There we go. Click and drag over all of them, select them, and I want to show some crop marks. To find my crop marks, I click Effect on the Applications bar, scroll down, and you'll see an option for under the Illustrator effects for crop marks. And that's going to help me a lot when I need to trim things. You can see it added the edges there on the top as well as on the side, and that's going to save me a lot of time uh, later on. So I'm going to lock that layer. Now I'm going to go to my back designs layer. Let's make sure that is unlocked and make sure it's visible. Click File, Place find your business card back design. Same thing, click it into place. And now it's hidden right now, it's behind that top layer. So I'm going to actually turn off that front design layer so I can see clearly. Copy and paste these in place just like you did with the front designs. Select all of those, go to Effect, Crop Marks, add the Crop Marks to that layer, and there we go. Okay, so now you can toggle back and forth, turn that front design layer on and off, and you should see your back design lined up really accurately to your back design, your front design and your back design. All right, now you can either print directly from here to your printer, and what I do is I turn one layer off, hit print, go to the printer, flip it, turn the other layer on and off, print it, and you'll have a double-sided printed business card. Another thing that I like to do here is we can save this as a PDF. So I'm going to turn off my back designs, go File, Save As, and I'm going to call this sheet of sheet of front design. Save that as a PDF. Click save. And now I'll turn my front design off, turn my back design on. Click file, save as. sheet of back design. Click save, save again. Now I'm going to get out of Illustrator and I'm going to open up Preview. Preview is on a Mac, is the, the PDF viewer. So I'm going to go Preview and I'm going to go File, Open, and open up the sheet of front designs. We go. Now I must have made a mistake on that one. And then what I want to do is I want to go edit, insert, page from file, and then do the back design. And now it made a nice and neat two page PDF document that I could easily send to a printer that allows double sided printing. So now I could just go file print. And that would print one page on the front, suck it back into the printer, and print the second page on the back. And they're both aligned perfectly, leaves all the crop marks. It should be really, really easy for you to, to do your trimming. So I hope this helps. Um, thanks for watching.